Hey guys, so um, Nami here. Um, like I mentioned, I'm gonna I'm screen recording this to show you exactly what I did um, when I first started using Upwork in September on finding and landing my first client and my first job here. So here you can see once you sign in, you get your um, actually taken to the landing page, which is a find work page, and you see um, the job posts that clients have uh, posted. Uh, if you're interested in this job, you can heart it and it would actually be saved in your save jobs feature here. But that's not what we're going to do. Um, we're actually going to go, you can follow exactly how I do this. If you click advanced search, any of these words, you can type in whatever you are looking for. Um, for me, I'm just going to say design. But if you're a developer, you're really good at CSS or um, developing a website, you know, for UI and UX, you can write that. Um, I'm just going to say design. We're going to click search. Once you click search, um, it's going to take you to find jobs here. We're going to see a filter by um, navigation or yeah, left nav here, right? Um, this actually used to be a button that lived inside this card section. And if you tapped on it, it actually expanded with all these filter options here. But now they changed it actually. So you Upwork actually updated their UI um, and their UX here. So you can actually just um, see it up front without clicking into it, which is nice. Um, when you first start, um, this is what I did. I clicked entry level because technically I am entry level um, in the freelance area, right? Starting off. So let's just try freelance um, entry level gig. Job type, you can click hourly and fixed price. Number of proposal. So I did less than five and five to 10. Like I told you earlier, um, you want to click or apply for the ones that are accepting zero to five proposals or five to 10 proposals. The higher you go means the more um, competition you're going against with other freelancers who may have more experience and uh, client review and feedback on them compared to you. So always go for less than five or five to 10. You can click COVID-19 related jobs. I did not do that at that time. Uh, client info, this is what you wanna make sure is make sure they're payment verified. Um, this helps you get paid faster than when a client is not verified. If they're not verified, it's going to take you longer to get your payment because they need to get their payment verified, right? Um, so that's basically the filter I did. You can check any one of these um, 10 hires, 1 to 9 hires. If you, I didn't do any of these. I just left it blank. Um, every time you make a selection on your filter, um, the job post here actually changes based on your filter. Make sure your sort is to the newest um because it tells me that um it was just posted so it's still fresh and new so here's the important thing so when you look into each of the job posts make sure they're payment verified and they have a five star rating um this this specific client and job post actually is pretty good he actually has 15 feedbacks on 15 different freelancers which assures me like he's legit he knows how upwork works um and he has spent a lot of money on using upwork to find freelancers which is reassuring for me but so let's say for this example i actually am interested in this job i would actually tap on it it pulls up a drawer it tells me um, more information about how many hours i need to work for this dude or this client um how many how long the project length is i'm looking for entry level you know he needs to hire three freelancers okay so that's fine um make sure you read the job details it's very important to read them because there are some keywords that they might want you to add, um write in your proposal uh client is asking for um some additional questions when you submit your proposal which i it makes sense um so make sure you answer these skills exp expertise they're looking for okay that's obvious what they're looking for it's fine Preferred qualifications. So some people may not actually be able to reach the qualifications, um, but that's still fine. You can still apply. But I always made sure that I um, had the qualifications whenever I apply. So that means there's a green check mark. Um, activity on this job. So this guy or this client is looking for a proposal less than five, which is what I'm looking for as a beginner. Um, interviewing. So interviewing is basically when a client basically. Um, message you after you submit a proposal this would change this time right now he's not interviewing anyone so he's actually still waiting for people to apply invite sent so let's say a client um found me on upwork he actually invited me to apply for this job that would make this zero turn into one because he sent one invite to me um unanswered invite i think this means if um 
the one the invites that he sent to the freelancers if they don't answer him or they rejected or declined that um that job offer interview offer um would actually turn zero to one um but yeah so you can see this client wow he has a lot of jobs current jobs in progress right now so he's legit i can feel assured yep um there's more information about the client washington okay it's fine yeah so i feel reassured you can save this if you want to apply later but i always recommend you apply asap so let's say i'm submitting a proposal it's gonna open this by connects yeah i don't have enough connects right now to apply but i'm still gonna show you um you can just pick whatever you want i'm just gonna do this for example so make sure you your specialized profile you select the one that best aligns with the job details obviously none of mine really best aligns with this but as an example um, when you actually apply and submit a proposal you read this uh, my hourly rate is 60 an hour cover letter like i mentioned this is important be transparent when you um for an intro just you know tell them that you're starting off um in the freelance area to first gig you're looking for tell them your work so say that even though i don't you know have an actual client yet um here is my previous or other projects i worked on um related to what you're looking for um tell them some background about yourself like where you worked and what position um because this kind of helps the client you know connect with you better um making them be feel assured that you can complete the job and the ending is also important in a sense um this you can literally use the exact word i'm saying um this is what i use i always tell the client that i can guarantee them 100 percent in completing the work within the time frame and also providing them the best solution that they're looking for please check out my portfolio or screenshot shots attached below i hope to hear from you soon stay safe and healthy Sincerely, Nani. Um, you can use that exactly exact words for your conclusion, um, for in your cover letter. Um, but make sure your other paragraphs in the top, you know, your intro and the body is um, personalized um, based on their job details. Um, like I mentioned, some clients will have key words for you to write in your proposal, and they will mention it in your job description the job details here to make sure you actually read the job details and you're not just copying and pasting the same cover letter everywhere um so you have to make sure and be aware of that um they can oh yep so here you can see that they have additional questions where you can write and tell them your experience about yourself um attachment this is where you can screenshot your previous work of what you've done and show it to them here um, make sure you also you can add a link to your portfolio if needed um, but etc etc stuff like that um, so make sure you're very thorough with your cover letter this is very important and i highly recommend you to um, practice it um, not practice i guess yeah kind of practice um you know trial and error what works and what doesn't but um, be very thorough with your cover letter here um, submit a proposal and once you submit a proposal you know it's going to live in your proposal screen here um, inside this card, submit a proposal. Currently, I submitted four recently. Um, once they read your proposal and they were like, okay, this dude, this, this freelancer sounds cool, meets all the criteria, I can message you, then they're going to live in active proposal here. So they're going to actually um, talk to you. Um, this is where you would see where you're constantly talking with them. If they like you, they're going to send you an offer, which will live in your offer screen so that's basically exactly what i did for finding my first upwork client and my first freelance gig um i highly recommend you to do that through advanced search um it's really helpful you can of course look through here as well but this doesn't have a filter section here this filter uh, in the screen there's no filtering options so it might be a little bit different um, but yeah, so advanced search, search it up, but that's exactly how I landed my first freelance gig. I really wish you the best. Good luck. Um, up, I applied crazy just to remind you I was hustling, you know, I didn't give up. So just continue doing this. Um, always apply to their messages, um, ASAP. Um, you don't want to lose them to another client, another freelancers. Um, but yeah, I hope this was, um, better feedback and advice showing you visually through the screen on how i approach it when i first joined upwork 
Um, but yeah, feel free to leave any comments, but please like and subscribe for more additional videos on um, or tutorials on designing using Figma maybe if you guys are designers or um, Upwork reviews. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe and 